If you have any questions uh, relating to how to do anything, uh, if we can get maybe five or six questions, we're going to have David actually show some really cool things. Uh, and David, have you seen the new carousel? I think we can maybe start with that. I'll do a full demo of it later. But have you seen the new carousel for the hero? Let's start with that. You take over the screen, and I'm going to click uh, stop sharing my screen here, which I can't. Can you guys force my screen to stop sharing? Yes. Okay, great. Because my, my laptop is completely dead now that it, it just hit that point. Okay, yeah, so for everybody that is not aware yet, we have added on a nice little feature which is called uh, a hero carousel, or we actually call it a slider. It is more known as a slider in some other apps, so you may be familiar with that one. So let me just show you how to get in there and how you can use it for yourself. There's a couple of different ways, and it's, it's actually pretty powerful. So let me just show you uh, that one. Give me just one moment. Let me just do some rearranging and here we go we are now inside our groove pages platform um, as we said we are going to be doing q a so in case you would like to have your question answered as soon as i finalize the demo of this slider element i'm going to be able to answer your questions but um, i will zoom in a little bit we can see that groove pages has now a new dashboard over here in the in the sidebar you can see it is, it is a bit cleaner we also have this selector of the of the apps like on the dashboard as well but we are talking now about the slider and the slider is an element where you can upload a lot of different things and then it slides over so that you can show a different thing so it slides over it's like a different card so let me show you how to get in there the first way is to go into blocks wireframes and you select this empty over here and then the first thing that shows up is a slider. This is a slider block, okay? What the slider block is, is a full width element. Basically, it will touch the borders of the screen on the left and the right-hand side. So whatever you are doing, it's going to be showing full screen. As you see, if I zoom out, if I zoom in, it's touching the sides of the screen. So in here, you can put in now a lot of different things. You can go in and put in your elements, like, I don't know, you want the heading in there, you want... Uh, you want a title and a paragraph element and things like that. You can create your own stuff through the elements. But the slider element is the only thing at this moment that can also hold blocks. So it's an element that can hold blocks. And it is very, very cool because you can do things like, for example, I don't know, you can do things like this. For example, you bring in this block over here and you just release it and it shows up. And there you go. So now you have created a slider with a block. And let's just say this is your first slide. You can go over to the second slide, and then you can design the slide number two, for example, if you want to have something different. You can, as you see in the configuration, you can create a number of different slides. You can create two, three, four slides and rearrange them just by dragging and dropping the slides over so whenever you whenever you have your customers visit your page you can showcase a different things that you're doing i've seen people do uh, different products that they're offering they they offer uh for example different offers they can show also the the black friday offers and, uh, and other things like that um you can offer, uh, you can show galleries and you can do a lot of different things inside so that's basically uh a block called the slider element, the slider block, okay? So the whole slider is also an element. Let me just delete this one and show you if you're using, for example, um, I don't know, let's just use a lead magnet block in here. And instead of the product image, you would like to showcase multiple different images. So as you can see, I have these books now on the screen. You could delete this very simply and drag in an element called the slider. So it's visible here um, in the elements tab. It's called the slider. You can drag that out just above the books. And now you can load in more images of your product, uh, which is very, very handy. So now you can create different slides, which will be going left and right and allowing your customers to actually look through the different products and the offers that you have um which is super exciting 
Um, so in this case, you would go in there, upload an image to the slider element, and then upload the actual or choose the image from the image library that you want to use. Then you can go over to the second slide and upload another image or another element, maybe a buy button or a download button or something that you prefer in order to create these kinds of dynamic um, sliders for your images. It's, it's pretty cool. And as you can see, you can have different animations for the slides. You can have a fade in and a fade out slide and things like that. You just need to make sure you click the update button at the end. So that's in short about the slider. We're going to go and dive deep with Mike, but let's just go back to the questions and let's see what you guys have as a question.